this episode, we're looking at symbiotic relationships between different animals. To be symbiotic, both animals need to benefit from the alliance. So, without further ado, here are the top five animal pairs with the oddest symbiotic relationships. Have you ever heard of a tarantula that has a pet frog? The number five pairing goes to the Colombian lesser black tarantula and the dotted humming frog. The tarantula looks after the frog like a pet by protecting it and even leaving it bits of food to eat while they travel around. All the frog has to do is eat ants, a lot of them. The frog's job is protecting the tarantula's offspring from the egg-hungry ants. Next, we're heading to the oceans to witness how two creatures have become roommates. Number four on our list are the pistol shrimp and the goby fish. The pistol shrimp may be small, but its deadly weapon makes up for that. This shrimp shoots bubbles at up to 100 kilometers per hour and makes a sound louder than a gunshot. That's how it got its name. But the pistol shrimp does have a flaw. It's bad eyesight. And that's where the goby fish comes in. While the shrimp is digging its burrow, the goby fish becomes a top-end security guard for the shrimp. It warns the shrimp of any incoming danger by shaking its tail. When the goby sounds the alarm, they both retreat to the burrow until the danger has passed. So it helps them both, really. The goby fish isn't great at burrowing, and it can use the pistol shrimp's refuge as a place to rest and as a place to mate. The next pairing has a seasonal feel to it. At number three are the coyote and the badger. You could easily imagine these two being sworn enemies, with one hunting the other. But on the contrary, when it's summer, the dynamic duo form a hunting team to catch prey effectively. The coyote is fast and good at chasing prey on the ground. The badger is really good at digging, so it catches animals that burrow underground. But all good things cannot last. In winter, the badger hunts under the snow. It doesn't need the coyote anymore. Poor coyote. Now let's get back to the oceans, as we find another odd pairing between remora fish and sharks in spot number two. Like some of our previous pairings, you would think that a remora fish would become a prime dinner for sharks. But sharks have a problem. Their skin gets itchy from being covered by parasites, and they're not exactly able to scratch themselves. The remora fish is right at hand to fix that issue. Sharks even seek out remora fish, which could put the shark in a dangerous situation. But once they meet up, the remora fish attaches to the shark. The fish gets a great ride and travels about the ocean, enjoying free meals from its ultimate protector, the shark. And finally, in the top spot, is possibly the most opposite of pairings, the Nile crocodile and the Egyptian plover. You know how ferocious a crocodile can be. The Nile crocodile has one of the strongest bites in the animal kingdom. And one of the coolest names, because it rhymes. The only thing that can get close to a Nile crocodile without being eaten? The Egyptian plover, a small bird that lives in sub-Saharan Africa. And what a sight it is. The bird becomes an avian toothpick for the crocodile, picking out bits of decomposing meat stuck in the croc's teeth. So the crocodile gets some excellent dental work and the plover gets an easy meal. Ah, nature, you are wonderful and weird. If you like this top five video, why not check out another? How about the top five weirdest and grossest creatures on earth? These animals have symbiotic relationships that benefit each other, and they are truly odd partners. That's what these creatures do, and that's what will always make them crazy creatures.